start tonight with a news for exclusive. The mother of a man accused of murder telling our John Hayes she knew about his role in the crime before any of it was shared publicly. John. For weeks, we've been unraveling a mystery in Enid after Colby Shepard was found dead and four people were charged with his murder. Police believe Shepard was killed by relatives of his ex-girlfriend, Kendra Batello, who disappeared two years ago. I sat down with Kendra's grandmother, Lillian Reyes, to talk about her granddaughter, but the conversation quickly took a surprising turn. I know there's somebody out there that knows what happened to Kendra. What happened to Kendra Batello? Her grandmother, Lillian Reyes, says she doesn't have specifics about why Batello went missing two years ago, but she's convinced she knows who was responsible. I've already got in my heart that Kobe killed Kendra. Family members say Colby Shepard dated Batello for years. They had a baby together, but also a complicated court history with a protective order and even accusations of physical violence leading up to her disappearance. Kendra's grandmother says Shepard is one of the last people she was seen with before she disappeared. They got into an argument. Kendra left the house. He got up, got dressed, and he went after her. Enid police say the theory isn't backed by evidence. There's no direct evidence or any evidence otherwise tying Mr. Shepard to uh, Ms. Batello's disappearance. Police have yet to find Batello, but say there is enough evidence to crack a second missing persons case, Shepard's. He disappeared last December. Authorities believe after being invited over to this house and questioned about Batello's whereabouts, he was murdered. Mr. Shepard was lured to that residence uh, by those with the intent to to do him severe harm. It's suspect Charles Jordan's house. An affidavit says Jordan's daughter, Heaven, lured Shepard over where he was beaten and killed before his body was moved and dumped in a storm cellar a few blocks away. Whatever's happened to him, he deserves. He gets, you know. Suspect Devin Harris admitted to authorities he stood guard. Court records say suspect Victor Batello told a witness he had to kill Colby because of what he did to Kendra, admitting he punched, kicked, and stomped on him. Victor is Kendra's uncle and Reyes's son. Did you have any indication that he might be involved in this? Not in killing not in killing him. And what, did, what does that mean? Did, did I'm he, saying he didn't kill him. Did he harm Colby in any way? They was just trying to get answers. Kind of rough him up. Did you have any indication that they had done this? prior to authorities making this announcement to the general public. That they did it? beaten him up, allegedly, and he had died as a result. My son, yeah. Yep. Your son what? My son told me about it. Shepard's family calls the accused actions cruel and inhumane. They say Colby was given no mercy or compassion. Kendra's gone, he should be gone, you know. That's what I feel. An eye for an eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't. That's what I feel. Despite telling us that I mean, Victor was involved, Reyes says her him. son is no murderer. You honestly believe that he's innocent, that he had nothing to do with Colby's actual death? Yes. And we reached out to Victor Batello's attorney for comment, but we haven't heard back. Enid police say Kendra Batello's case is still open and are asking anyone with more information to come forward.